Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, you will learn how to design the preamble of your thesis. That is, the first few pages prior to the introduction chapter containing the first two in pages of that is this one and this one, the signature page for supervisor, the approval page containing the addresses and signatures of the external, internal and HOD, then declaration page, certificate page containing the signature of supervisor and head of the department, dedication, acknowledgement, abstract, contents and the list of figures. So let us begin, how can we achieve this task? So the first thing you need to know is that I'm working in the document class report and I'm keeping the font size equal to 12 and I'm using these packages. I want to go into further detail because I have already discussed the purpose of these packages in my video, the title page of your thesis. The construction of this page is completely explained in my video title page of your thesis. If you don't know exactly about this, I would suggest you to, to watch my that video. So let's move on to the second page. So in order to start the second page, I write the command new page to begin from the new page and then I add the command no Indian so that this whole thing is placed in a single paragraph. Then I use wrap figure command in order to wrap text containing the name of the university around the logo. I have a detailed video on wrapping text around figures. If you don't know much about this, I again suggest you to watch that video. If I build this document now, you will see, yeah, this is the second page, which, and this is the text, this is the logo, and they are put side by side, and that, that this is done through the ref figure command. Then I add a little vertical space. This, this can be adjusted by changing the number over here and add the name of the thesis. If I again build the document, the name of the thesis is written at the top of the page. Then I'm adding again a vertical space over here and write this line, then this line, and I'm centering them, then writing this line, here is again vertical space, again the vertical space, and then I'm writing text in containing name of the student and registration number and then the year of thesis. All these are done by using centering command, putting the line, uh, putting the text in the center of the page and adding new lines. Let's see how can we do this. For example, I again I add vertical line over here, then I'm centering the text, a thesis presented, and then again vertical space, then again I'm centering Comsets University and so on. So for every line I repeat the same thing, that is I I put the begin center, then the text inside the brackets, and then end center, then vertical line, again begin the center, end center and so on. So the whole page is repeated the same way and you can do that uh, and you can change the vertical spaces as per your own requirement. So the second page, the second introduction page can be constructed the same way. At the end, I would like to explain this part a little more. Again, I'm putting that inside the begin center command and enter end center command. I put the large in order to enlarge the size of the text over here and then I'm entering double uh, backslashes and the double backslashes are used for uh, entering a new line and uh, then I finish this over here. Again I start the next page with command new page. If I build the document the table is generated, text is generated and this dark sorted line is generated and at the end of the page the supervisor information are provided. How can we do this? Let's see. Here I put the title of the thesis inside the two curly brackets, which is the argument of the large command. Then I enter double line and I add no end it so, the, the, so, so that the line would be from end to end. And I add ruler. And with ruler, there are two arguments. 
the first argument describes the length of the line and the second argument describes the width of the line that is why we have this line over here then again I add a vertical space and then a text and here I construct a table of two rows and two columns so that's why each vertical line over here describe a row uh, describe a column and if you don't know how to use tabular again I would suggest you to watch my video on tables and logic so you can you you can get the details about construct tables from that video I will not go into further details at this position and then I put the information about supervisor before after the table adding a vertical space then I write text BF that is I'm writing this in bold face the supervisor then the name of supervisor the position of supervisor and departments information and then here I put the date and this complete the supervisor seg supervisor signature page the next page is the approval page how can we construct this page let's understand this okay again I put the new page so that a new page is generated then uh, I, 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 I give the title over here writing that again in the center command so that all those things will be put in the center of the page here I'm writing text BF that is bold face and I'm writing final approval then I put a line under it with two arguments 15 centimeters the length one point is the width of the line then I then I add the title by writing that inside at a distance and then writing as a bold text over here and then I add the name of the uh, student then registration number etc and putting again a vertical sign and then I put the name of the examiner and then put a ruler in order to create a line in front of the name this command create a straight line in front of the name of the examiner then I put the information about the examiner inside the center command and uh, then I, I give another vertical space then I put then I repeat the same thing for supervisor for the head of the department and so on so this is the approval page of the thesis let's move on to the next page this is the declaration page and I would explain how to underline the text in this position and at this position and that again is a repetition of the previous pages so I, I begin a new page and then put the declaration inside the center command and then I put this text into the argument of underline this underline will underline the text inside these two curly brackets so it contained the name and registration the name is XYZ and registration is this one and then I underline again the date at this position the flush write command is used to uh, give a long indent to the text and take it take the text to the right and then I again add a line with the name this is again the name of the student and this is then, then I go to the new page again and construct the certificate page. I just put the certificate at the center of the page by putting this inside the center command and then I give the certificate in underlining the name of the uh, student owner, putting the registration outside the underline command. And then again I underline the date and then I give a flush to the right and put the same details so uh, this construct the two pages that is this is the declaration page and this is certificate page this is the dedication page a similar procedure is repeated for the acknowledgement page and for the abstract page I just put the abstract inside the uh, begin abstract and end abstract command if I build the document you will see the acknowledgement and abstract pages are generated so this is the acknowledgement page and this is the abstract page
I add chapter command. I already have a video uh, on my channel how to add chapters and sections so you can see the detail in that video but I would just build a document so that the next chapter so that the next pages are generated. Now you see here is the abstract page and next to the abstract page is chapter first and this is mostly the introduction chapter and thesis here i have added sections in order to let you know how to generate list of contents and also a figure to let you know how to uh, construct the list of figures in your thesis then i have generated another chapter and i have done the same over here i have added sections and I added chapter in order to let you know again how to create contents and list of chapters you can do that by just activating this command that is table of contents list of figures if i now build a document so you see the con the list of contents or table of contents is generated similarly the list of figures is generated so this way i would like to give you a complete view of the final documents this is title page this is a second title page this is a supervisor signature page this is approval page declaration page certificate a dedication acknowledgement abstract table of contents list of figures chapters and so on if this seems difficult to you i'm I'm putting this whole code in the description of the video. You can copy and paste in your document and then change the name, the title, etc. in your document according to your own requirement. So this way you can generate the preamble of your thesis.